Yeah, our petition is about so much more than saying parents don't want to pay this. It's about looking at the childcare system in the UK as a whole, a system that we think is broken, a system that's not working for anybody. You know, um, nurseries aren't making lots of money. The people who work in nurseries are definitely not making lots of money. And parents are struggling not only to pay for childcare, but to find childcare. So it's not just about money, although that is a huge factor. And I think that is fine for people to be upset about that when you look at the amount of money that they're looking to pay. I think people are horrified when they find out what their monthly childcare bill can be. You know, okay, people can say things like, well, you should look first. And of course, we get the usual, you know, if you can't pay, don't have kids crew. But it's not about that. It's about saying this is too much money and they're doing it better elsewhere. So, you know, it's different thing for you to say, okay, I know this childcare bill, if I want to go back to work, it's going to be £1,000. For a woman who's had a year off of work to look at that bill and say, okay, I'm going to get paid this, I'm going to give childcare this, I'm not going to see my child, I don't know what kind of quality of life that means for me or for them, you know, that is a different, they are two different decisions. I'd also say that, you know, not everything goes to planning pregnancy, you know, you can have twins, we had a person write a piece for us who said it would cost her £52,000 for her to send her twins to nursery. You know, people can have children sooner than they expect. You might be looking at having two children in the childcare system at once, you know, under the age of three when you start to get a bit of free hours from the government here in the UK. And, you know, children can also take longer to conceive. If you spent a lot of money, parenthood, for instance, through IVF or fertility treatments, and you are then the position of then looking at childcare and having to balance whether you can afford to have a child, that is not fair. And also to say things happen to people you can lose jobs you can have promotions you can have issues with your housing there's a hundred reasons that you might get a shock when you get that childcare bill ultimately